Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to PHP tutorial number 48. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to make sortable tables. Um, and by that I mean tables where you're able to click the header of a column and it will then sort the table by that column. And we're going to make it so that we can do it, uh, make it sort uh, by a column ascending as well as descending. So that means you can have it in sorted reverse as well, um, like most sortable tables are on the internet. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into the code. By the way, before I actually do that, I'm just going to say this tutorial will be in two parts because, um, but by two parts I don't mean it's going to be one continuous video cut in half because, because I can't actually do that and the reason for that is my screen recorder doesn't like it when I have videos um, generally over like 10 minutes especially at, the, at this video size it just when it tries to produce it after I stop recording it flunks out so it's gonna be two parts but it'll be two separate videos but it will still be the same number tutorial just a pre-warning anyway uh, now we've cleared that up let's go ahead and take a look at this code now since the whole page is basically the table it revolves around the fact that there's a table with all the users um, printed out in that table uh, we're gonna straight away right at the top of the page connect to MySQL I know in a couple of other pages um, I connected at a specific point and that was because we didn't need to connect until then uh, so it was a sort of security risk to connect any earlier. There, were, there wasn't any need, so it's always better to be safe. But in this, I'm basically using connecting. I'm basically running queries and stuff right into the start of the page. So I connected right at the top. Now, the way we sort displays is we well the way we allow the user to decide how to sort the display is by allowing them to cl click the links. And the way we get, uh, the way we figure out which li link they clicked and whether it was ascending or descending is we use a variable. And for us, that variable is going to be uh, in the URL. And so it's going to access it, we're going to have to use the get array. So what I'm doing here is checking to see if the variable order var has been set uh, in the URL. And if it has, that means our user already has um, come to the page and has selected a way to sort the table. And because of that, we're going to collect um, that value. And this is going to be a shorthand value, by the way. It's not going to be the actual value which is going to go into the query. And then to turn it into the proper value which is going to go into the query, we're going to switch it. Now you might be wondering, well, why don't we just have the actual value in the URL? Well, it's a slight security risk to have the exact SQL query uh, in the URL, so it's always better to have shorthand and then, in this case, switch it and get the actual value. It's just, like I said, it's just safer to do that, okay? So we're going to switch order var, and then we're, the cases are simply the keywords. So fn underscore asc means first name ascending, then fn dsc means first name descending, and ln is last name ascending and descending id is obviously id ascending and descending and then if we get the right case we change order var to the actual string which will go in the query in this case it has to be the column name exactly as it is in the mysql database and then the keyword either asc or desc depending on whether you want ascending or descending sorting Okay. Uh, and after we've done that, we break so it doesn't run through all, all the other cases. Okay. If, however, that order var value wasn't set in the URL, uh, which would basically mean our user has just clink, clicked the link to come onto the page, i.e. hasn't been able to select a way to sort the table yet, then we have to set a default way to sort the table. And that's what I'm doing here with this else statement. I'm saying okay the default's going to be last name ascending okay so that the when the user first comes onto the page the table will be sorted by the last name in ascending order which means a's will be at the top and then the z's will be at the bottom okay 
after we've done that we're gonna go ahead and construct the query okay so the query is really easy it's just a select query we're selecting all the results from the users database and ordering them by the order var variable and if you recall when we switch order var um, we gave it the proper uh, SQL value so let's say our keyword was FNDSC then order var after the switch would be first underscore name space DESC and then that value would go straight into that string sorry would go straight into this query and just to check it's working I printed it out you'll be able to see it change uh, when we go to the page after that we run the query okay now here comes another interesting part um, this is just before we start printing out the table you can see here we're going to print out the table now um, I'll actually talk about the table before I talk about that stuff above so for the printing out the table with the results we're just going to run the while query and uh, we're going to open up the the result with the mysql underscore fetch underscore array uh, function in this case I wanted associative so I just use sql underscore fetch underscore sock okay and then the array which I'm going to store the results in is going to be called row okay and then here I'm just printing out each row for each loop of the array uh, and each there are three cells the first one has the ID the second one has the first name and the last one has the last name now I'm gonna pause I'm gonna well, I'm gonna stop the video now and this will be part one and then when we come back it will be part two okay so I'll see you in a sec